Good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Shivaranjani presenting this retrospective cohort study on clinical features and outcome of Seresha bacteremia in medical wards in a tertiary care teaching hospital in South India. Seresha is a gram negative bacteria usually isolated from the damp areas in the environment. In a hospital setting, it is also noted from the medical equipment, sinks, floors, and soap dispensers. And there have been cases documenting its pathogenic potential in the form of bacteremia. And this study is done with the objective to identify the risk factors, pathogenicity, and prognosis of such Seresha bacteremic patients among general medicine wards. The data were collected after obtaining IRB clearance from the online medical records from the year 2016 to 2023 and were entered in AP Data 3 version 3 and data analysis was done using SPSS version 16. 20 cases were of such bacteria was identified and of which 5 were females and 15 were males. Uh, the 50 percentage of the patient had diabetes as comorbidities and 30 percentage were hypertensive and 20 percentage had CLD as comorbidities. Source of infection was identified as lung in 35% of patients, and 30% patients had indwelling catheters and tubes. 25% patient had hepatobiliary system as their source. Uh, there was 50% uh, there was concurrent bacteria noted in 50% of patients, of which Klebsiella was isolated from 30% of the cases, and 70% of the patient required ICU care, and of which and 65% were intubated. The Seresha isolated was sensitive uh, to meropenem in 100% of these cases, and all these cases were treated with meropenem. Looking into the outcome, there was uh, 11 patients who were discharged in a good outcome, being discharged in a hemodynamically stable state, and 9% patient, patient had bad outcome. And uh, the mean Apache score of the patients with good outcome was 8, and the Swartzen comorbidity index was Two and so far score was three. Look, uh, considering the univariate analysis of these patients, there was no significant p-value obtained from obtained in uh, obtained. However, mechanical ventilation appears to have a trend towards worse outcome in in this study. Thank you. Can you uh, what is the, uh, the what was the the title of your study? The clinical features and outcome of. Uh, Seresha bacteremia patients among general medicine patients uh, what? So, Dr. Sivranjan, this was this were patients who came in from the community, admitted into the medical wards, and over a period of nine years, you have seen 20 patients. So it's not an epidemic. It's not an epidemic. But later on, you should see whether it is the same organism to see whether it is a hospital acquired. That's not the focus of my question. Now you analyzed 20 of them and you found that the mortality was 40%. Okay, that's fine. So uh, what are you saying? Where did this Seresha come from? The Seresha has to come only from water. It is, it is not a commensal in our body. Seresha massensis is not a commensal. Where, where did it come from? Out of these 20 patients, two patients developed a Seresha. It has to come from outside. It has to come from our hospital sources. But I'm not saying it is an epidemic. It's an hospital-acquired infection. Bacteremia that we have caused, not you. The system has caused. Otherwise, it's impossible to get serratia unless there's catheterized. It's not a community-acquired organism. Okay, so look into it as to why. Now you've done a cost analysis. If I, if I survive, it's only one lakh. If I die, it is five lakhs. Why? Length of stay is same. You go back to your slide. The length of stay is the same. Why my ICU stays six days, other one is eight days. It is five lakhs if I stay for eight days and I die. What care, John? What do you say? But if I live, it's only one lakh. That's right, your average. Just have a look at it. Why it is five times more? You understand? Pardon? After so many years of life lost. Okay. I don't know. And it's going up to 10 lakhs. Just have a look at it as to why it should be that high for a two-day additional stay. Okay? Or maybe something. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. There are additional years of life lost for those who died. So many years uh, as those who lived up to seventy, 
because those years of productivity loss, if she has put in, that justifies. Five lakhs can be. So 